What's going on, everybody? Andre Dorsey here for another video. Now, I have obtained my PlayStation 4 Pro, which just released today. And I hook it up, and guess what? No image, only sound. Now, mind you, I have a Xbox One S that shows in 4K with HDR, so I know that my television supports it. Now, the television that I have is an LG 43 UH 6030 series, um, which the resolution it supports is up to 3840 by 2160p. Um, the HDCP is 2.2, .2 and it... It has HDR Pro, so obviously it works with my Xbox One S. So my television is fully capable of doing 4K with HDR, and it also has a uh, refresh rate of 120 hertz. So it has everything needed to support uh, the PlayStation 4 Pro. So why is it that an image doesn't display? So I contacted Sony about this issue and Sony informed me that my television series is not supported by the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, I asked them if there was a list on the website or somewhere that would show me what TVs were supported. They didn't answer this question for me. The only thing that they told me was that uh, uh, as far as the LG series, some of them are supported. Some of them isn't. LG should be rolling out a software update to fix this. OK, so I got to playing around with my settings. Now, if your PlayStation 4 Pro is not showing on your television right now, first of all, power it down completely. Next step you're going to do is hold the power button. And the, the PlayStation is going to cut on. Continue to hold the power button until you hear the second beep. Now, it's not going to beep twice. You're going to hear the first beep when you first push the button and then keep holding it till you hear one more beep. After you hear that beep, it's going to go into safe mode. What you're going to want to do is go into resolution and set it to 1080p. Once you set it to 1080p, you will have a display on your screen. Now, if you go into your video output settings on the PlayStation 4 Pro after you've set up your console, it's going to tell you that, hey, your TV doesn't do HDR and that the resolution is well below what your TV may support. And also, if you look at the HDCP, it's going to say 1.4. Now, I was got to playing around with my console and I set it to automatic. It didn't show anything. I set it to 2160. Both of them still didn't show anything. So I did the uh, I went back into safe mode. And what I did to be able to get the max resolution, because even when you put it on automatic, it doesn't show anything. I went down. I went back into safe mode. I went all the way down to number eight, which is HDCP. And I set it for one point four only. Mind you. My television supports HDCP up to 2.2, but Sony says my TV isn't compatible. Okay, anyway, so I set it to 1.4 only. Now, when you set it to 1.4 only, then you can change the resolution to automatic, and it will put the resolution on your screen at the highest that it's capable to do. So for me, my resolution right now is 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. And now my HDR, it says HDR on your television is supported with 2K and 4K supported. However, the only downfall to this is it with it being 1.4 only. It says currently this PlayStation 4 is set to use only HDCP 1.4. It says when using HDCP 1.4 applications that support 4K might not display in 4K. Bummer, right? No, not really. Why? Because the PlayStation 4 Pro right now does not do games in native 4K. However, apps like Netflix, which Netflix has increased their movie lineup to have 4K videos. Um, YouTube also. So that's not a problem for me because if I want to watch something in 4K, I could just watch it on my Xbox One S. However, if you're one of those people who would like that, guess what? You're probably going to have to wait if your television does not support this. And they try to tell me that it was, like I said, with the television. I don't know. Now, it was interesting because the first person I talked to didn't walk me through any of this. The second person I talked with walked me through it. However, I had already done it and I basically walked them through it. So, you know, there you go, Sony. I just troubleshooted my own console without you. Um, but anyway, for those of y'all having issues seeing a picture on your screen you can change that uh that way 
put it in safe mode. First of all, put your resolution to 1080p. If because it's if you have HD TV, you'll be able to see that anyway. And then go back into safe mode and go down to your HDCP. Then change that to 1.4 only. The next step after that, you're going to reset the console. Then you should be able to go into your settings and change your resolution to the max for your 4K television sets. This is what I had to do. I didn't find this anywhere online. It may be out there. It may not. Hopefully this video is helping someone. But at this point, now my television is showing in the, in the max resolution and it is saying that my television is HDR supported. Uh, now, I don't quite understand why if I have HDCP 2.2 capability on my television, why it won't uh, support that on the PlayStation 4 Pro. I'll have to do some more research as far as what HDCP really is and how the, you know, I figure with me having 2.2 that it would it would be fine because, like I said, it works on my Xbox One S. 4K just fine. So, you know, I don't know if the issue is with my television or with something that Sony has to fix on their end. I don't know. The point of this video is for those of you who are having issues, this is how you correct that issue. And it's crazy because I stumbled on this issue myself and actually called Sony and pretty much walked them through it. You know, the guy was like, oh, yes, that's right. You know, yeah, I know it's right because I already did it. I'm just calling to see if y'all were lying about something, which, you know. But it does upset me that if you go online, I, I can't find a list. You know, I asked them once again, why is there not a list of televisions? You know, when you look at the PlayStation 4 Pro, it said that your television would need to support 4K and your television would need to support HDR. It never said anything about this is a list of televisions that are not supported. And I really think that that was a Trump move by Sony. Uh, if you knew that these televisions weren't supported, you should have let people know that because if you go out and say, oh, only thing you need is HDMI 2.0 or higher. Um, you also need uh, HDR 10 or HDR Pro and you also need a 4K TV to get the most out of this console. That's what was said. My television supports all of that. So why is my television not working in the Mac HDCP? You know, so with a grain of salt. So with time, we'll see if this gets fixed. We'll see if my television, I have the LG 603 zero series or the 6000 series uh we'll see if they put out a software update that fixes this later on uh right now i'm not too concerned because like i said the playstation 4 pro does right now it doesn't do titles in native 4k it does um it does um checkerboard rendering and upscaling so even with the 1080 as long as your television supports 4k which mine does in hdr you're going to get a better picture you're going to get those better graphics and things of that nature i think the only hindrance is going to be whenever um the television um whenever you're watching things like netflix and things like that you're going to have some issues also i kind of think that this is something that sony has hitting behind a firmware update that whenever uh once they release their blu-ray dvd players in january or early of 2017, I think, and I wouldn't be surprised if this happens, that they put out a firmware update that's going to uh, make this issue go away. And then guess what? You'll be able to even watch um, ultra high definition or 4K movies on your PlayStation 4 Pro. That was something that I talked about earlier. If you go back and watch my video on why you should buy a PlayStation 4 Pro, I talked about this. And after seeing this on my PlayStation 4 Pro today, I kind of feel like that's what's going on. I don't feel like it's an issue with the television. I feel like there is an issue with the PlayStation 4 Pro uh, holding back those 4K capabilities being locked behind some kind of firmware update. So we'll see. Stay tuned for more. But like I said, um, if that's what you're having issues with, that is how you fix those issues. And I will leave those steps in the description box below. Leave a like, subscribe for more videos. Until next time.